All right, video seven. <laughs> I, I think it's seven. I did one, yeah, and we did the two, and then we did three more. Okay, video seven. All right, so, and again, we're just gonna do this. Uh, we're just gonna do this as we do it. So I'm in a bunch of grubby clothes. You're in what you wore all day, which is fine. But I have my triple ponytail in, which you're not a fan of. But again, we're not here to fake this. We're not here to fake this. We're not here to like make up up or whatever before these videos. Like it's like a real, it's like the real wife of our household here. Okay, so uh, so I wanted to start this video now because we have like six auctions that we're bidding on that are ending in the next, like in the next 20 minutes. And I have lost a lot of auctions today. <laughs> I have, like there's some we guy- We need those games. There's some guy that is bidding, and, and it's like, uh, it's like, so really, really, oh also, I looked at, I watched some of the other videos. We gotta be, we gotta watch, we gotta look at the camera a little more. We're talking to each other a little bit here. We're gonna look at the camera. We're gonna look at the camera. I think people can. But for re for <laughs> replay video, for the purposes of replaying this video, we can't just be looking at each other all the time. I mean, I love my beautiful wife, but I gotta look at the camera here. Anyway, so we have um You are talking to me. <laughs> so I think I think we've been on I think we've been on like ten auctions. It's a Sunday. Sundays are big days for auctions. I think we've been on like ten of them. And I have I think I've I think I've lost six of those by one bit. Like I was the next guy, right? So I was, I was, I was right there. I was winning, and one guy beat me. And a lot of these were like, like the bid, the third place bidder was 150 bucks. I bid like 257. I always bid like on a seven, and then and then somebody beat me. Some guy beat me. And the guy I checked, like it won't tell you what the username is of the guy, but you can check and see what else they're bidding on. Like if you click on their username and they're bidding on everything. They might be doing exactly what they're doing. Maybe they're making videos at home and they're going, gosh, this jerk keeps bidding against me. So <laughs> far, <far -fetched. laughs> I mean, it's possible, I don't know. I mean, they're, or, or they're just buying it to resell, but they're bidding like yeah, They're big, as cool as us. They're bidding big dollars. And like their feedback is like 1,006, which is not a lot. Cause like your account is like our secondary account for buying random crap. Discount I think we have more than that. Coming back for you. I think we have more. I think we have more on your like extra account. But our account is like two hundred. No, one hundred. I don't know, like one hundred eighty thousand feedback or something. Because of the old business, not because of what we're doing now. But um, anyway, so the the guys the guys beat us on a bunch, and some other people beat us too. It's not just this guy, but I just keep losing by one person. But anyway, I've been like I've been two fifty seven. Third place is 150 and then I lose. So there's some huge gap. So at least the only thing I'm feeling good about on the losing of them is that I have cost this guy today on those six <laughs> auctions or whatever it's me, I've cost him like $750. Like if it wasn't for me, he would have won that game for like $152. Instead he paid $257. And I lost them all. Every single one I think I've been against this guy I lost. So he just put him a bit of like a thousand dollars on a random game. It just, that makes you feel better. <laughs> it does. It does make me feel better. It does make me feel. It absolutely makes me feel better. You send him that, a personal message. Well, because it, I think I think he's not gonna make. Because what's to say he's trying to make money off this? He's not gonna make as much money as he thinks. Like if he thinks he's gonna just do this to flip these games and to buy it again, he might be collecting. Maybe he's collecting like someone else. But he's exactly. He might be. He might be in the same boat. In which case, we're gonna both kind of weed each other out. Then, because now that he bid on that game and won that game, he's not gonna bid as much the next time. So I bid on some games that we already have, but I bid like low dollars because I'm like, uh, I'm not gonna bid. I'm not gonna bid three hundred dollars on a game we already have. I'll bid like hundred and seventy just to make sure that if someone doesn't get a steal on a deal. That's not us, right? But because if we could, no, no, because we could. I mean, I mean, stuff costs a lot of money. And if I can get a game for really cheap that I know I could just wad a grade and then resell it for twice as much, like, of course I'm going to do that. Because that just will feed our, you know, feed the, the funds to keep this thing going a little longer, right? But anyway, so we'll, they'll be throughout this video. We should see. Now, I did win the, the top game, our most, oh, wait, what do we got here? Auction and, God, son of a Auction got away, which means I'm the second bidder again. Just watch. I bet I've been the second guy. This guy, this guy with 1,000 whatever feedback, beat me again. He's just buying everything up. Let's see here. Because uh, if, if eBay even gives me, so it's like a sniping <laughs> software. It's a sniping software you that places a bid. better software. I pay, I, I, I put it in, 
And then somebody beats me. That's your max bid though, right? Uh, okay, so no, I got smoked good by everybody. Because this is a game we already bought. We <laughs> bought this on Heritage Auction last Why week. Buy it anyway? We bought it here. So this is one I just kind of kept it low. So we were, you know, we were the third place bidder. And actually that guy, I think that guy got second. He got beat by somebody too. The guy, but it's the same guy again. There he is. This is you something 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 nine. They don't tell you his username. But again, I can't do it on the computer. I can click on his username and see what he's bidding on. But still, I mean, well, so that, I guess that's where he's kind of bidding. I mean, he's bidding this 270 bucks a game. It's not even a great, it's not even a good game. I would have been 207. So I lost that one. I'm fine, and I'm fine when I lose it by a lot. Okay. Totally fine when I lose it. Ready? I bid on one earlier, got smoked big time. But again, I did win two games. Our most expensive purchase yet to come later. I had to pay $1,238 for a game. <laughs> <laughs> one hundred eighty dollars for a game, but it is—it's one of those where like you gotta, you've gotta get it, and it is a—it is—it's a good game. It's gonna sell I, for more than that. I would, I would imagine. I imagine if people are putting this and not on an auction, they're probably listing it for. No one's listing this quality of that game for less than three thousand dollars. I'm gonna guess. Like I mean, I know how people list things, and sometimes it doesn't mean anything because people will list a game. I bought one yesterday. It was like. Greg something's golf, like some Greg Norman's golf or something. And I didn't pay very much and it was already great. And it was like a 9.4, like really high, like perfect. And like the next cheapest one was $1,500. So that doesn't mean anything obviously because no one's buying it for $1,500. But I believe that would be the same case. No one's putting this game in the condition I bought for less than $3,000. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll watch us lose auctions throughout this episode. Episode, again, what are we, seven? I think we're in seven. Episode. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is part of this is that the last. Oh, we didn't actually show this. We didn't show the the artwork of this game yet. But this is Exodus Journey to the Promised Land, the best artwork we have. So I bought this when I was in uh, when I was in Iowa fixing up that house. I saw it. I listed it. I bought it right away. I don't even want to open this, but it has it has like I mean, it's got a nice protector on it. It's not a sealed game. It's just because that is the artwork that we have downstairs. So, so we, we bought this for the artwork. I'm trying to buy every version of this. I'd love to buy a sealed one. The cheapest sealed version of this game, and I think it's $1,250. Yeah. Again, so what they're asking for, no one's paying This was the point. original idea. Exactly, yeah. that was the original idea. The videos yeah. that I said yes to, <laughs> yeah. mind you. And then, oh, I have a new idea. Suddenly, I have all these. Oh, hold on, let's back up. Let's back up on the display racks that I built today. <laughs> so it's a Sunday, it's family day, Sunday fun day. After church, I had the kids help with this. They actually put some of the screws in. I kind of drilled the pilot holes and held the drill for them. But Eve, he <laughs> drilled them in, Jack drilled them in. That. I think Joey got at least one in, Joey or Mike got one in. So the kids each helped build this. And look at the side, does that look like it is three pieces of wood? Look at it. No, it looks great. No, I bonded that bad boy. I bonded it to seal the wood in. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna work on this a little bit, but all scrap materials. The bottom layer, the bottom layer is a picnic bench, like a picnic table. Take off the three games, Sean. The picnic. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll get these off so you can kind of see what's going on behind us, right? So it's still gonna be kind of far in the distance in this video, but, but, uh, but so it's three layers. It's just it's solid wood. It's actually really heavy. This is scrap wood that we had. We're doing a lot of projects around the house. This whole kitchen has been remodeled. Maybe we'll talk about that in a future episode. Of course, we got a lot of kids. Double fridge. Oh, what are we talking about now? Two fridges and a fridge downstairs <laughs> and a deep freeze downstairs and a full-size freezer in the garage and two dishwashers. And then everything else is like one. Stove. No, sinks. One, two, three sinks. And I think about the... Above the uh, stove there, Pop up. And, and then and there's another sink right in the hallway there, and there's another sink down there. There's hallway. a lot of hand washing to have. <laughs> so I, I within like a five second walk, one, two, three, four, five, six, six different, <laughs> six different wash stations, and there's still everybody's dirty all the time. Yep, it's no excuse. So, <laughs> um, all right. So anyway, so the bottom level was our old, was our old picnic bench, which the old owner of this house just let us have. It was like on a deck. It was an old, and it was like really picnic bowed. Table. Yeah, picnic table. It was like a, like about a heavy duty, has like a metal frame, and then just wood across the top and woods, wood benches. 
but the, the whole table was just bowed. The wood was all bowed. It was pretty beat um, and, and just not, not in good condition by any means. It was probably so we were, 20 years old. Yeah, so we replaced all the wood on it. We kept it because we were, we were just going to give it away like on Facebook or, or Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or something. But then we thought, oh, we can like redo this whole, we can redo, redo a whole table for like 50 bucks before wood prices spike to the roof. And we did, and then we kept all the old wood though. And even though like on a nine foot piece it was bowed, when you take 36 inch or 37 inch sections, they were pretty straight. So the bottom is that. The middle layer is when we built our garage. We had, they would give you like 15% extra. Okay, so like you buy, you buy, you need, you need 200 two by eights, they give you 15% overage. And we used like all of them because we did construction in the basement and in here, like we used all the overage. But then Joey and Mike took some two by eights out and they put them out in, in the middle of the lawn for the entire winter. And they're not green trees, so they're not supposed to be out in the weather. And they're kind of destroyed. Like I wouldn't trust them for like building anymore, but for just a little display rack, they're just fine. So that's what the second level is. And the top level is when we remodeled our basement, we tore down some walls of some closets and we kept the wood of the walls. So that is, I guess three home projects, scrap lumber put into that, leftover screws. I mean, they're, they're new screws, they're reused screws. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hurt really leftover, well. Leftover some decking screws in the top one, they go all the way through, like little shorter screws, construction screws in the middle one. And then Bondo, we had to Bondo the door in our Iowa house that we sold to create, to, to let this all be a reality, even though we haven't actually got any money for it yet. So. <laughs> yeah, we're just paying yeah, so this isn't, this isn't from, we don't have, that's how, that's how great, how likely this project is to be completed, by the way. We haven't even gotten the money from the Iowa house and we're this far along, 39, 39 games. But that is, that is the rack. One of, a couple other things, uh, was in Marine Corps for like a couple of days. I went through boot camp and all that stuff, and I, I graduated. I was officially a Marine, but that's now it's my work clothes. This I noticed actually. I was watching some of the videos. I noticed this kind of this kind of like uh, red mark. Look, look kind of bad. And yeah, that was from uh, I was doing plumbing work in the Iowa house, and I put the I had torch. this plumbing yeah torch, and he with the the it's real, and I was in the back of this closet between this the roof and the closet replacing the um, replacing the shower. And uh, the pipe was hot, and I'm kind of trying to hold it between my knees, and shh, that pipe is a couple hundred degrees after you torch it, and I just, it actually didn't hurt very much, but I could tell I burned myself, and, you know, yeah. it takes a while to you. All right, back into, I just got to notice, gosh, man, <laughs> that just, I'm dead right now. I just am losing everything. I am such a loser. And this one again, look at this. I bid 177.77, and... 180.27. Say I got beat by one bid right. for the seventh you time today. Hold on, let me see. Is this dude again? <laughs> it's not that guy, but I think there's like two guys because this 192 feedback guy, I think he's beat me a couple times today too. Okay, I think I have like two or three guys that have beat me on seven or eight <laughs> different auctions today. Gosh. It's a conspiracy. I got kind of desperate. I just bought some <laughs> Famicom game today because I needed to win something. Actually, some guy listed. That's somebody great. Listen, somebody listen to Famicom. We'll talk about Famicom games when they come in. They're, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about it later. But I bought one today. It was a really good deal. I'm pretty sure I can make some money. Okay, first game. Hold on, we didn't even talk about it. Exodus, <laughs> Turning to Promised Land, Game Boy. Don't care about it. It's not a sealed game. It's not a lot of games. It's nothing. It's just for our own. These are it's just for our own. Games. It's for our own little cool thing. Dumb. Everybody's favorite. The Three Stooges. The Three Stooges. <laughs> Never right. played that. All right, actually, this one, I am, oh, that is, look at how good that thing is. Oh, so this was the, I actually, it was, it was kind of cheaper than some of the other ones because somebody cut out, they cut out the, like, they, and they mentioned that. Oh. It wasn't, they cut out a corner here, and I don't know why they blacked it out. I wonder if we can magic eraser that off or something. Like, we could try very carefully to magic eraser that off, oh, but they cut be. out part of the seal. <laughs> Otherwise, this game, look how nice that is, though. If you didn't include that corner, that is a mint. Absolutely mint condition game. Horizontal seam is really tight. Absolutely perfect condition, except for that. And I got a, again, I'm not buying anything I don't think I got a good deal on. I got a good deal because it said plastic cut out, and they showed a close-up of that. Very, they were on a seller. They weren't trying to hide anything. 
But that is, I mean, that is otherwise, if you hide that corner, which you can't do obviously for grading purposes, if you hide that corner, that's like a 9.6. Like that's like the best condition game we've had in here. Okay, one, oh, one other back, back thing. This holds 40 games. I think the idea going forward is to just put 40 games out. Okay, yep. between, between, it's like 20 games on this side because it's four row, five each row, five, five, five. there's 20 here, 20 here. And right now we have 39 WADA or BGA graded games, but that's it. We'll just put out 40 and then, because we don't want, if we get to like 200, the amount of time it would take to set up 200 games before every video, we would answer this. Now I was thinking like we could create like this mountain <laughs> we could create, like, I could do it. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm so handy. I'm so handy on this stuff. I could just do it, but. Or not. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. We'll see where the next couple videos go. But, okay. How do you even say that? Amagon. That's what I thought. Amagon. I remember buying this. Oh my God, this is not one that I had you play it. Per the last video, we had you start playing some games. There's a few more. Between episodes, you have to do a little. Little mini project of your own here, but otherwise, I have a couple <laughs> games. Exactly I, I have a couple games that I was notified that arrived today, so I do think I think we'll play a couple games. Not we won't waste a ton of time on it. We'll play a couple games real quick. Amagon, nice. Actually, it's kind of an awkward case. Look how big that case is for this game. Mm, like, long yeah, long. I'm not sure what I'm not sure what this guy bought, but a very oversized case to protect the game, which is interesting because normally they they fit very snug around it. But really good shape. A little bit of wear there. Uh, those look, uh, you know, again, little, little teeny wear in the corners, but otherwise looks really good. Horizontal seam. I'm gonna guess, although we'll learn, we'll learn as we start sending them in. Because again, I want to have a video where we're just, just take all the sealed games that we're gonna be sending to WADA, and then we will guess what we think it'll be based on the, the WADA versions that we have. And, but I would think it's like an 8.5. I mean, a little wear, minor wear in each corner, and that's it. Otherwise, everything looks great. I, I couldn't, I just couldn't imagine it being a nine because there is wear on the corner that I can visibly see. But it's not like I'm some of these sevens are really beat up. Uh, so, so, okay, Amagon and the Three Stooges and Exodus Strength and Promise Land Game Boy game. Sky Shark. This was a game that I do remember playing as a kid. This is kind of like a Tiger Heli, like a, well, Tiger Heli is the one I said that was really, actually, which I lost today. I tried to buy another Tiger Heli today. I'm really happy I bought the Tiger Heli that I did buy because I got beat up on the one that I didn't buy today. Got a game that I had when I was a kid, so I'm, I have kind of like a special connection to it. But Sky Shark is that kind of, uh, it's this, it's where all the, all the enemies come down. Like this, you just, you just basically go left to right at the bottom of the screen and the bottom area. And then you shoot, you're a, in this case, you're an airplane, Tiger Heli, you're a helicopter, and you shoot up at the enemies and they come down on you. And then you get like power ups that make you shoot more bullets and multiple bullets. And sometimes you get like a little sidekick. I don't remember everything about this game, Sky Shark, but there's a lot of games in that kind of genre. So that's what that one is. So, we're still, we gotta get to the magical 40. Is this a lot of? I don't think there's any lot of in all these. They all None are these smaller. Are yeah, so either way. Oh, here comes the dud episode. Here comes the dud, <laughs> right? But no, it is what it is, right? You can't have, every episode can't be good. You can't have it. You gotta, you gotta leave some suspense for the next episode then. Well, this is gonna be a great episode. <laughs> so, so, well, it was a little background story episode. How the scar, how the scar happened. Because people the really care about all of that. No, but this is the light. Ta-da! Oh, Cybernoid. Okay, Cybernoid. Yeah, it's kind of a weird writing. Cybernoid the Fighting Machine. Now I bought this one because look what he said. He said mint. Oh, I don't think that's mint. Gosh, that guy lied to me. Okay, seven of <laughs> the eight corners. Good. Seven of the eight corners are mint. The game, car, the label, the plastic is mint. It's a good, that's a good condition game. I think this still, I mean, that's not, that's not beat too bad. Like it looks like a little bit of a dent. I bet that's still a nine. From what I've seen on the nines, yeah. I bet that's still a nine. At least on VGA, that's at least an, that's at least an eighty plus. You know, I, I think eighty plus. All we have is eighties and nine, eighties and eighty fives and eighty fives plus. Again, I'm, I don't know VGA as well. Uh, I don't know either from that great, but I think I think that he said it was meant. 
I'm not going to even complain. I'm not going to complain because I almost it almost seems like it's like the plastic in the corner, not the actual box. But there's just a teeny bit. Again, you can't probably see it on a video. Let's get as close as we can. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But there's that little corner. It's got like a little ripple, very minor. That is, at least it's something worth noting that doesn't seem like it's meant. But I'm not. No, it's a cheap game. It's a real cheap. Oh, here's. You played this one, didn't you? Oh. I think you played this one. Again, we gotta look at the camera more. We can't just look at each other, love bug. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> actually. Vindicators? Vindicators. I had you play this one. Do you remember that? I think it's just some tank game or something. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is Michael. I think you and I played that one night too because. Nope. nope never played it in my life. We played something with tanks. Tanks for saving Earth. You and I played something the with tanks warriors. one night. I don't the car know warriors where you're the two little dudes, like uh, these uh, bandana fighting guys, and you get in tanks. That's a game I would love to get yeah, Mikey and I are playing Wait. that together Whoop. and not doing well. Nope. This is Ness is just talking in our driveway. It's messing here. Yes. We're being too loud. So, all right. So, how was the game? It doesn't look that bad. Michael and I didn't get very far. It doesn't look that bad. You're just two tanks. And then we couldn't put in the passwords. <laughs> All right, like we'll read just the beginning of the pre. Tanks for saving Earth. Okay, that's in, in green above. The year is 2525. That's 500 hey. plus years in the future. An attacking force of alien space stations approach Earth. So they're still using tanks. The technology is not very good for <laughs> They're still using tanks in 2525. Are these like plasma, like super tanks or something? Because that, that seems like you'd have a little more advanced technology 500 years from now. An attacking force of alien space stations approach Earth. Scanners indicate that a direct assault would be useless. You must infiltrate and destroy the invaders with the most powerful battle tanks ever created. Vindicators for one or two two gamers, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's, again, I think, I think they should have used the year like 2125. Would probably be more believable, like a hundred plus years in the future, because it's also in the in the eighties. Like we're probably already beyond where this game thought we would be in twenty five, twenty five. So anyway, so the this one here, I know I always say a steal of a deal, but here's what happened. I was bidding on this game, and this I mean look at how good that condition is. Tell me if there's anything wrong with that game. This is a nine point something. This is one of the best conditioning games. I mean the plastic maybe they're gonna say. A instead of A plus. You don't have your you know, vertical seam. Yeah, it's that vertical overlap seam. So, but this is a Tengen yeah. game. So Tengen's an unlicensed Nintendo game. That's how they have it, the seam. This game is like perfect, perfect condition. Again, I would say of the sealed games we got, this is probably the best one we got. The guy, I bought it right when they just listed it. There were two games for this. Actually, it was Cybernoid and this one. I think yep. they were from the same person. Yeah. Yep, they were Cybernoid the and this one they listed. I bought it right away, snatched it. Snatched it up, and they had another game called Terminate, the Terminator game. It was, I think it's called The Terminator is what they call it for Nintendo. And I was like, hey, I know you just listened to the Terminator 2. I'd be interested in buying it. That game was already up to like 450 bucks, and it wasn't mint either. These, again, they said mint, this one. But the best part is I lost a bid on this one, and I think I bid like 300 and something dollars, and I lost it, and it wasn't in as good of condition. And like two days later, they listed it, for like 125 bucks in mint shape. So again, top five deals, top five. Now today, today I bought, we'll back up a teeny bit too. We're gonna back up the whole episode because we have nothing else to talk about because the games are crap even though some good ones. <laughs> no auto ones, no graded ones. But I, bet I did buy another game today, which we'll see in a week or two. And that was a game that the person, I'm not, I'm not trying to like, like, Screw people out of any money here or whatever. Like somebody was gonna buy it and it just happened to be me. But they listed a game, they said it was a PAL version of a game, which is the European version. But actually the code on the back of the game was weird. It was an NES space P space AL. It wasn't PAL, it was the NES, there's a US version. They even wrote sold in the US and they didn't put the word Nintendo or NES in the title of the game. Right, so like a comparable version sells for like a thousand dollars. I paid four hundred twenty-five. Now it's kind of beat up, so I bet you like seven. I bet it's probably worth like seven hundred dollars. So I mean, if they had listed it and let it run, and people knew, and they and they properly named it, and didn't tell people it was a PAL version, it probably would have sold for like seven hundred. I bought a four twenty-five. I'm not complaining. Um, okay, this is again part of that. Uh, 
I am going started. to have Yeah, why well, started? But actually, I'm buying the blue cartridges because I have the labels for these games. So I am going to make the only. As you, that wasn't me. I'm, I'm going to make the only. Uh, all the other games that are made by Wisdom Tree, I'm going to put them in blue cartridges. I'm going to rip this label off. Just tear it away. I have I have like a thousand of this label, by the way. Okay, I got a thousand. Of them. Well, like I have a whole roll because I bought it from the owner, my entire roll. And I don't know, this might be a 500 or a thousand or 2,500 per roll. So I have unlimited labels. So the label has no value to me. I'm going to rip this label off. I'm going to open the game up, which we have, we have the tools to open this, these cartridges up. I'm going to take a different game that never came in a blue label. Never came in a blue label. Someone's offering me, you know, it's not even an auction, but they're offering me. Never came in a blue label. I'm going to take that apart. I'm going to put inside of it... Uh, like, like for example, Bible Buffet is a game that was never made in blue cartridges, and I'm going to make a blue label Bible Buffet, the only one out there. And it won't even work. No, it'll work. <laughs> no, it'll work because the because the box you is the same. Old, do you have an old system to try it out? Make sure that you didn't totally wreck it. Um. Yes, I do. By we have like that? we have like three or four old systems. Yeah. Because that could be tricky. Yep. Yeah. No, again, no, we won't. No, it's just it's just this little chip. You take these screws out, the chip comes out, and then you put the chip what in the next one. it's not like a perfect fit? No, they're all the same. It's the same cartridge. All right. I promise you. I've opened thousands of these games up before. We used to open these up and clean them up and, and do all kinds. And we, we would actually replace the chips inside of it with other games, like to make sure. Like if it, there was one that the chip was all beat up, because you could see in there if one was all worn up in the old business, we would take one that was a really good condition one and put a good, good condition chip in it. Uh, and we do that kind of stuff. Or if we had a game that just didn't work, because sometimes these games are so beat up they never work, and then we would, and let's say that one had a scratched up label, we would take the chip out of that game, put it in one, if it worked and had a scratched up label, we'd put it in a game that looked really good but didn't work. And then we'd say, well now we have a good looking game that works and we'll just take the crappy one that didn't work and we'll just sell it as a bulk lot of unworking games. And we did that and we, people would still pay like two bucks a game or something, you know, and, and we tried our darndest to get them to work. Maybe they have some special trick. But anyway, that's uh, that's why I bought up a handful of blue. And, and the blue ones are worth a heck of a lot more. And again, only only ones that had it was Bible Adventure, I think. All right, here we go. Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Now what did you play? Yes. Let me see it. What did you play? What did you play the other day? You played Impossible Mission Two. Yeah, I didn't. Unrelated. Notice. I did not play this. Which I forgot to say, too. Graphics are there seemingly is, better on there than the one I played. As crazy as it is, there's Impossible Mission 2, and there's, there's also another Impossible Mission 2. That's like a different company that made it. So there's two boxes. for. I think it's the same game. It's the same name. And then there's Mission Impossible. Unrelated. We needed to get the game. This one's not bad. I mean, a little, again, the corners have some wear. And all, kind of almost all the corners have somewhere, so we're looking at a we're looking at a lower rated seven point. I think like a seven point five is what I'm seeing for the ones that have just very light corner wear. But uh, another one to add to the collection. Are those all open? <laughs> is that it? Is that all we got here? Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. We got we we'll just we we'll just finish these ones up, and then we'll take there's a little a break. Here. We gotta we gotta get these open because now we're at a point where I gotta give some people some feedback. Like, and if we're missing a game at this point, like if we're missing a game at this point, so we'll we'll fly through these last ones. Stealth, because again, there's nothing exciting here anyway, as far as we can tell. Stealth ATF, you played this one, right? I don't know. I think I had you play Stealth ATF after you played that other airplane game, because I thought, well, let's give it our second try. Because you said you couldn't get the plane off the ground or something. Yeah. <laughs> Still the other does that look, does that look familiar? I'm pretty sure I had you play this one right afterwards. No, this is the one I, then this must have been the one that... Oh, this I one couldn't you couldn't get off the ground? Yeah. Okay, so this was, uh, that was this was one that was a low graded. It's got like a pretty bad sticker on the side that would be really tough to get off. So even if I paid water, you know, they're heavy grading, or heavy cleaning, they're probably not getting that off. Uh, otherwise, it's, you got the box looks. The box was okay besides the corners. That's always what seems to be the case. Feet of course. Feet of course. Oh boy. Here we go. Another Kirby. Another Kirby. So this. This 
Center a lot less. What's going on with the back of this? Okay. 